I quickly want to show you how to run Bellingcat's TikTok hashtag analysis tool. For this video, I will use a Mac and I also assume that you have already installed Brew, Python 3 and Node and that you have at least a little bit used the command line before. If this is not the case for you, then I recommend you go to Bellingcat's article about this tool. You find a link to the um, text below and look at the sections about the requirements. Okay. As you can see, I have my command line open and we are in the desktop directory. The Bellingcat TikTok tool uses an open source TikTok scraper and that's why we first want to install the scraper. This might take a little while. And now let's install Bellingcat's TikTok hashtag analysis tool. To do so, we go to GitHub and um, we will also put a link to this page below. And we go to code and click on download zip. Perfect, the download worked. And now we can move the tool, for instance, to the desktop. And we now want to go in our TikTok project folder. Before we start using the tool, we also want to start a virtual environment. And we also need to activate this virtual environment once it has been installed. To run the tool, we also need to install a few more packages and this is what we will do right now. And once again, you might need to wait a little bit until this is installed. Let's go to the subfolder inside our project folder where we find the Python scripts. You can now choose a hashtag that is interesting for you and scrape TikTok posts that contain specifically that hashtag. And to do that, we type in the following command. And now we just have to wait a little bit again. Okay, as soon as you get a message like this, it means that the scraping was successful and that you downloaded in this example 979 posts. They are now on your computer. So now we can analyze the text posts of the TikToks which we just scraped and find out which other hashtags show up most frequently alongside the hashtag Ukraine in our example. To do so, we do the following. You can also choose any other number. It doesn't have to be 31. This will now create a list of the top 30 hashtags 
that show up most frequently, but if you choose another number, then your list will become shorter or a little bit longer. Here we have our list. And if you want, you can also turn this list into a graph. And for that, we do the following. As you can see, this creates a file and you can open this file by just copying what you see above here. Yeah, and this is our graph. It shows the top 30 hashtags that show up most frequently alongside the hashtag Ukraine in our posts. And um, thank you for your attention. I hope that was helpful for you.